Access denied. Welcome to Access Granted. Welcome to another episode of Access Granted. I'm your host, John Compton. And on today's show, we're at Bonneville Dam. We're gonna have Brian, uh, our tour guide, take us around, show us some of the things that are open to the public and some things that are not. So let's go ahead and get started and uh, let's go meet Brian. Brian, John Compton. Hi, how hey. are you, John? Nice Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to meet with us. Yeah, you bet. So you're a park ranger here at Bonneville Dam, mm -hmm. and uh, we're excited to learn kind of the inner workings of, of everything that goes on here. Can you tell mm -hmm. me a bit about what it, what does a park ranger do? Yeah, park rangers here at Bonneville Dam uh, interface with the public. Okay. So we are a bit of an industrial complex here with the hydropower, the navigation lock. But a lot of people come out here to recreate too. We have a, quite a bit of tourist traffic to our visitor centers and a lot of uh, people coming out to fish also. Oh, okay. And uh, so we park rangers, we manage all these recreation areas. Okay. And do all the natural resources management around our, our project. Okay, so now we're standing here by this, this lock system or locks system. Mm -hmm. And so are you telling me that like boats, like recreational boats and stuff can come through here? That's right, yeah. Recreational boats and commercial craft okay. come through this lock all the time. And it's not just commercial craft, but if you come up in your own boat, you want to go through the lock, yeah, it's it's open to the public. Okay, now is, is there a fee for that? No, there's not. It's free. The lock operator has complete control of this lock. So that uh, tugboat operator will call the lock operator. Lock operator is going to tell him where to come in, where to tie up to and uh, he won't do anything until that boat's secured. Okay. And he closes the gates, in this case, lowers the water and opens the gates again and gives him permission to leave. Huh. So uh, you're under the lock operator's control whenever you're in this Yeah, lock. yeah. And 24 hours a day? 24 seven, yes. Really? We're open every day of the year, every hour of, of the day. What is the, what is the, um, the water level here versus the water level what I can see down there. Yeah. Uh, what? How? How far is that? Yeah. We we usually refer to that as a lift here a in lift, the lock, okay. and uh, so we average about a sixty foot lift. Okay. And sometimes that changes as our tailwater increases uh, during the uh, spring as we get more rain and snow melt. The uh, water level downstream comes up, so sometimes it's less than sixty feet. But on the average, it's about a 60-foot drop or, or lift. Bonneville Dam, um, give me a little bit of history on um, why it's here, what its purpose is. Can, can you give us a, a little bit of insight on that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, During the Depression, when, mm -hmm. uh, when times were pretty bad around the country, uh, Franklin Roosevelt um, yeah, decided to try to jumpstart the, the economy by establishing the Works Project Administration. And, he uh, came up with a lot of federal jobs. He wanted to put people to work. And uh, Bonneville Dam was, was one of those jobs, like okay. uh, Grand Coulee further upriver or um, mm -hmm. uh, Hoover Dam down on the Colorado. Um, there was a, an opportunity to uh, uh, do two things, put people to work and, uh, and get some benefit out of it too. And uh, our primary purpose for being right here was to um, improve navigation on the river. Because uh, okay. just a couple miles upstream was the site of the old Cascade Rapids. And uh, that was a, a serious obstacle to boats going up and downstream. They, they couldn't go through it. So when Bonneville was built, we flooded a roughly about a 60-foot wall of water behind us, and that flooded over those rapids. So we, we improved the navigation on the river you know, okay. via our navigation lock so boats could go from downstream through our lock all the way upstream to the Dalles before they started uh, bumping into rocks again. The Bonneville Dam was built in, was it in the 40s? It was dedicated in 1937. Oh, it was, okay. And Franklin Roosevelt was out on site to, to dedicate the dam. Okay. Uh, the powerhouse went online in 1938. So uh, we, right. we've been here for quite a long time. Right. This lock you see here was uh, uh, opened in 1993. So this is a, a new addition this to our project. This is a new one, here. okay. Yeah. 
When Bonneville's first lock was completed in 1938, it was the largest single lock in the world with a 60-foot vertical lift. It could hold two barges and a tugboat at one time as river traffic increased and new dams with locks capable of holding five barge tows were built upriver, Bonneville's lock delayed river traffic since large tows required several separate lockages, greatly increasing the shipping time. Now closed to river traffic and replaced by a larger navigation lock that opened in 1993, the new lock is 86 feet wide, 675 feet long, and able to accommodate five barge tows, giving the lock the same capacity as the seven upstream locks and cutting lockage time from several hours to less than 30 minutes. The total cost for the lock was $341 million. Commodities such as petroleum products, wood products, and grain passing through the Bonneville Lock can travel between Lewiston, Idaho, and the Pacific Ocean on the River Highway, now known as the Columbia Snake Inland Waterway. When a vessel is going downstream, the downstream lock gates are closed. The filling valve is then opened, allowing the lock chamber to fill with water by gravity. The lock gates located upstream can then open and allow the vessel to enter the lock that is now filled to the same level as the water on the other side of the lock gates. Once the vessel is inside the lock, the filling valve and upstream gates are closed. Water then drains through the drain valve and out of the lock until it is at the same level as the water beyond the downstream gates. The downstream gates can now open and the vessel is able to leave the lock chamber and continue on downstream. The very same procedure is performed only in reverse when a vessel is going upstream. At Bonneville, the level of water upstream of the dam and lock system is usually about 60 feet higher than the water on the downstream side. Since the lock is open to boaters, contacting the lock operator is simply done via Marine Channel 14 or for boaters without radios by utilizing the pull cord signals and intercoms located up and downstream from the lock. Red and green signal lights provide visual guides in and out of the lock system. 